Hello YouTube, this is uh, a video on how to test a generator or as some say a stator in a motorbike. Um, this is um, just happened because my uh, regulator rectifier just blew up in my Suzuki GSX-R750 uh, 2007 model K7 and I've had to do these tests to make sure everything's still okay and I know there's not that many uh, videos out there to test so what you're looking at here is a three phase generator so the three coils, three phases and these wires are the three phases well, these ones that are coming out now what you want to do is check I'm going to be checking the resistance and the voltage of these systems so what we have here is three wires so you go to each point of the each coil and I'll show you how to do that on the connector So. <coughs> This is the connector I pulled out earlier, and that's actually hidden under the gas tank, under your airbox. So what I got there is the three phases. So it doesn't matter which way you put it and where you put the pins. So first of all, you want to do an ohms test, a resistance test of each winding. So you set the multimeter to set the multimeter to ohms. If you have a good meter, sometimes they're automatic, sometimes they're not. So this is a fluke, nice, nice meter. So what we do want to do here is just put the meter straight into the plug, like that, and one into the other one. So you have one in each phase, like that. The meter will show if you want that coil is good. It's showing 0.5 ohms resistance. It means it's good. All right. And then you have the other way, so you'll do it so from the top to the right pin, like that. And then again, that's 0 0.4, 0 0.5 is good, floating, it's just a bit of dirt in the connectors. And then you'll go between the two bottom ones, something like that. And that again will be... 0.4, 0 0.5. It's usually pretty good. Okay. The next step is to test the voltage. And with a rectifier, the generator, sorry, the generator is on AC. Now this should generate around anywhere from 20 to 80 volts, around 20 to 30 or around when it's idling at about 2,000 or 1,000 RPMs. So what we want to do is check each of the three phases again. So we plug it in. There's nothing shown on the meter first. We turn it on. Clutch safety. that helps test uh, helps you to test your bike's generator <laughs> 